Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, April 25th, 2017. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. A major earthquake of a magnitude of 7.1 on the Richter scale struck the west coast of Chile, just off the coast, actually, yesterday afternoon. It rocked the capital of Santiago and briefly caused alarm along the Pacific coast and so far as tsunami possibilities. Uh, the quake was centered in the uh, central part of the country, about 35 kilometers west of the coastal city of Valparaiso. Uh, the uh, tsunami warning was canceled. Uh, it was a short but sharp quake, many uh, people said. It caused uh, mudslides as well as mass evacuations immediately from Valparaiso. Local cell phone networks were reported down. Uh, there were no reports of any damage or injuries, however. Lloyd Specialist Insurer Beasley has managed an increasing number of data breaches on behalf of clients in the first quarter of 2017. Beasley's uh, unit that manages data breaches said 641 data breaches between January and March of 2017 occurred, compared to 462 breaches during the same period last year. This is about a 39% increase. Beasley has seen an increase in hackers using phishing techniques to infiltrate employee email accounts and change their direct deposit account details. Uh, the majority of direct phishing attempts apparently have occurred in the higher education sector where hacks and malware have caused about 48% of data breaches during the first quarter of 2017. A multinational emergency response is underway following an explosion aboard a Marshall Islands flag bulk carrier, the Tamar, in the northern Atlantic Ocean, about 1,300 miles off the coast of Cape Cod. One crew member was killed, three others were badly wounded when an explosion occurred. Uh, the U.S. Uh, Coast Guard uh, was in contact with the captain of the 623-foot-long bulk carrier uh, when uh, he reported at 7 a.m. yesterday that there had been an explosion in the ship's forward storeroom. Coast Guard and the uh, New York Air National Guard immediately responded. The New York Air National Guard Rescue Wing launched an HC-130 air crew with six pararescuers and one combat rescue officer. Uh, they jumped from their uh, airplane onto a small boat with advanced life support equipment to provide medical treatment to the remaining crew members. The Coast Guard has, uh, the Canadian Coast Guard has diverted two warships with physici physician assistance aboard estimated to arrive sometime early today. The vessel, which is sailing from Baltimore to Gibraltar, is continuing in transit to the Azores, uh, where it's going to receive further attention. The engineering plant was unaffected. On Sunday evening in downtown Houston, there was a uh, train explosion, not a terribly uncommon event, unfortunately, but quickly a uh, chemical stench was smelled by residents in the area. When Houston firefighters arrived at the scene, the Union Pacific conductor told them the materials on the car were nothing hazardous. It was later determined that the uh, car had held lithium-ion batteries on the way to San Antonio for recycling. Um, the uh, Union Pacific spokesman said the batteries are not hazardous, and air monitoring after the incident found nothing toxic. However, safety data independently says that lithium fumes are irritants to lungs, eyes, and throats. The Houston Chronicle investigation the newspaper there uh, determined last year that city officials have no idea what's being transported through Houston, as no government agency tracks what's coming and going on highways and rails. This is the same problem that occurred with the oil trains going through Chicago uh, a year or so ago until the uh, construction of the uh, cars were, were changed, double hauling them. Jack Ma of Alibaba in a speech to an entrepreneurship conference in Zhangzhou, China last week, uh, said that uh, in the next 30 years, the world will see much more pain than happiness. He was speaking of job disruptions triggered by the rising power of the internet. He said social conflicts in the next 30 years will have an impact on all sorts of industry and walks of life. He apparently was talking about mass bankruptcies and retail store closings. Data and analysis from reinsurance broker Aon Benfield reveals that Hurricane Matthew is estimated to have resulted in an insurance and reinsurance industry loss of about $4.5 billion, but an economic loss of about $15 billion, uh, triggering a debate once again about the so-called protection gap in both developed and emerging regions. The United States uh, 
saw a uh, total of $10 billion in economic losses, but insured losses of $4 billion. That's a remarkably high gap for the U.S., one of the most heavily penetrated insurance sectors in the world. And, you know, Benfield says that that's due to the fact that most of the American damage occurred not because of wind, but because of flooding, which is typically underinsured. A flash flood of fruit juice from a PepsiCo beverage plant in southern Russia has flown into the streets of a town and into the River Don. The prosecutor's office in the Lipetsk region said in a statement that the roof of PepsiCo's Lebedyansky factory collapsed this morning, injuring two people. Uh, the prosecutor said several tons of fruit juice had been spilled. Authorities said they were monitoring pollution leaks, uh, pollution levels in the Don River, one of Russia's longest after the juice was reported to have spilled into the river. No immediate comment from PepsiCo. That's the news from today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.